For PokerGaming.com, this is James Gwill. Event number 56 of the 2010 World Series of Poker was a $2,500 No Limit Hold'em event. This was the last preliminary event of the World Series of Poker, and 1,941 players turned out to take their shot at this last bracelet and a grand prize of $825,976. Day 1 saw the field shrink from 1,941 players down to just 502. The players returned on Day 2 to play for the money and ultimately the final table. Among those at cash were Jamie Gold, Victor Ramden, Dan Heimiller, David Singer, Dan Shack, and James Mackey. Heading into the final table, PokerStars Italy Pro Salvatore Bonavina was the chip leader and held actually a 1 million chip lead going into foul table play. Joining him was Mike Wattel, Ali Alawati, Joseph Curcio, Tomer Berta, Brian Porter, Alfonso Amendola, Hung Ching Hung, and Vladimir Kuchelevsky. I hope I got that right, but I think that's about the best one we'll get that one. While Bonav Bonavina entered the foul table as the strong chip leader, he was actually unable to capitalize on it and ended up finishing in fourth place. Heads up play was between Vladimir Kodachevsky and Tomo Berder. For the rest of this event, by the way, I am going to just refer to him as Vladimir and, of course, Tomo Berder I'll refer to as Berder. But I'm not going to butcher that last name for the rest of this, so we're just going to stick with Vladimir. Just letting you know. Vladimir led at the start of Heads Up Play, 9.8 million to just 4.8 million of Berta. Sometimes when you go into a Heads Up match and you say it goes back and forth a bit, really we say that as a way to keep you from being ultimately uh, being ultra bored because not a lot went on. There might be a lot of you know small pots going on and not a lot of movement. However, in this case, when we say play went back and forth, we mean it. Reason I say this is that the that the chip stack swung very violently. Um, one player would have a huge lead, then the other one would double up or win a couple of big pots, and they would have the big lead, and it went back and forth, back and forth. However, the turning point of this event came just before the start of the one hundred twenty thousand, two hundred forty thousand dollar blind level. Berta was all in and behind actually with Ace Ten against Pocket Nines for Vladimir. The flop fell ace-jack-9 to give Vladimir a set of nines, and it looked like he had a stranglehold on the bracelet. However, the turn fell an eight to give Berta a straight draw. The river then fell a queen to give Berta a running straight, and at this point, Berta was sitting on 12 million in chips, while Vladimir was left with about 10 big blinds. Shortly thereafter, Vladimir moved all in with 10 six of clubs from the button, and Berta made the call with an ace four. The flop fell with an ace on it, as well as a six hitting both players. Vladimir needed a six or a ten to win. The turn was a three in the river of seven, and Tomer Berta was our champion. Tomer Berta is the event 56 winner. In addition to taking home the last preliminary bracelet of this WSOP, he also takes home $825,976 in prize money. Congratulations. For more, stay tuned to PokerGaming.com as we bring you more coverage and recaps from the 2010 World Series of Poker.